Hey YouTube, just wanted to come in the garden and show you guys how everything is growing right now. And also I just wanted to say Happy New Year's and I hope everyone is doing okay in this challenging time we're in right now. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm inside the fence now and right in front of me is the broccoli. Off to the left side, you can see I have six purple cabbage. I have one subway right here on the left and going down the fence line is celery. I have two savoys down there on the fence. And back there is my dinosaur kale. Um, G did cut some of the dinosaur kale off as you can see because you know we grow to eat guys we don't grow just for fashion we grow to eat <laughs> so <laughs> it's gonna get eaten in my garden so this is the purple cabbage starting to fold since i'm back here let me swing over here to the chinese cabbage that g planted it's another savoy starting to fold this is a broccoli this is another broccoli. This is another broccoli. It's another broccoli. And another. And another. And one more. So I have a lot of broccoli, guys. I had two cauliflower right in this area here. I took them out. And I'm going to show you guys what those look like. I'm not in the fan club of growing things that's starting to mold on me. I'm not doing that. It's it, it's starting to... Um, it was starting to like mold or something and I threw it back here. So let me just show you guys what it looked like. I threw it back here because no way. I'm not trying to grow that. So, my husband is burning some wood back here. So, this is where I threw it. And hopefully, I'll be able to use this ash when he's done. So, you see that? It's starting to mold. And I'm not a fan. And I had three. And I had to take all three out. So, that's sad. Here's another one. I had to throw them out. So mad right now. Here's another one. I think it's because of the rain we've been getting. They just went bad on me. So that's sad. But we move on. I mean, as gardeners, not everything's going to be perfect, right? So... We learn and we move on. Maybe next time I'll cover the the uh, cauliflower with some kind of um, overhead covering. Maybe that'll help. But that's the left side. The right side, we have this bed here is mostly early jersey. So that's an early jersey. That's our early jersey. That one, that one. That one is a Savoy. That's a Savoy. So let's look at the tag here. Early jersey. This bed here, which is in the middle, is mostly Savoy. Savoy cabbage. So you can see everything's looking nice, starting to fold. Looking really nice. This one in the back is a early jersey that I just stuck back here. And the last bed on the left side of the fence is Bonnie Hybrid. So you can see starting to fold. That's pretty. It's starting to get like a purple tint to it. That's cute. 
this is the biggest one we have so far in the entire garden so that one is most likely gonna be picked first that's another one that's the second biggest one that's another one that's starting to fold that one and that one on this fence line here we have uh, snow peas I didn't mention this before but I didn't want to talk too fast because I didn't know if they were gonna like um, germinate so some flowers on it and they look good so um it looked like he planted four so we have four small plants of snow peas and that's it you guys thank you for looking at my garden video and I hope you guys garden is looking good just like mine and I hope I'll be able to harvest some good cabbage and broccoli and what else kale before it gets too warm because I'm in zone 8a and soon it's gonna be warm out, out, out here so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to harvest everything by the end of February but we'll see but anyway, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.